Electricity workers have agreed to resume work after intervention of Labor and Employment Minister Chris Ngige. The minister has set up a tripartite committee to resolve the grievances of the electricity workers after an emergency meeting in Abuja. Workers had earlier shut down power installations in the country to demand payment of arrears to workers of defunct Power Holding Company of Nigeria and improved conditions of service. The action of the workers has left consumers in darkness. In Kaduna, members of the National Union of Electricity Employees, NUE, picketed Mando Transmission Station, which supplies electric power to Kaduna, Kebi, Sokoto, and Zamfara states. Similarly, the Abuja distribution firm attributed absence of power supply to industrial dispute between workers and transmission company of Nigeria, TCN. Can electricity distribution company has told its customers in Katsina and Jigawa states that disruption of supply followed withdrawal of services by the electricity employees and energy consultant Olabode Sumomi speaks on the industrial dispute. Yes, uh, the issues that we had, I thank the Honorable Minister and uh, the Minister of State for Power for their maturity in handling these issues that we brought up. Yes, these issues could have been tackled earlier on if uh, there was the rightful communication with all parties. But well, as we have said, um, we've been given two weeks uh, to wish to report back to the uh, the full house. Um, well, we are sure the nation that uh, such crisis will be nipped in the board before it uh, escalates. So you you have um, industry people who are workers, like any other set of workers, who feel that the financial um, um, entitlements that they have is not satisfactory. You only have to negotiate with them. And if indeed those financial entitlements are not satisfactory, then there's an issue. Because we need to understand that there's an illiquidity in the sector, which means that the sector itself does not have enough money to take care of itself and keep oiling itself, which is why a lot of times government has had to intervene. So there are certain fundamentals that need to take, I mean, that need to be taken into place, is that the sector must be first made liquid. And to make it liquid, we're talking about people stopping theft, so because when you have a neighbor who has bypassed the meter, it's not necessarily intelligent, it's circumventing the system because somebody is going to pay anyway. You understand? It costs something to get there. And if they don't get it back. So that's another thing. Then there is the issue of the actual cost. There are certain things in the components of the tariff that are dollar based. So every time like now dollar was one seventy a couple of years ago, is now seven hundred. That also reflects in the cost of production. I mean, the, the people supplying gas, they are complaining of over a trillion naira that is being owed to them. And those ones are also threatening to shut down. They are totally private sector people. But because they could be arrested, owing to for sabotage, because it's a national security issue, they keep pumping, and there are issues there. It's one of the key things within the Nigerian Gas Association for which most of their members are involved in that. So there are issues in the sector which needs to be tackled in a holistic manner. And it is over and beyond one person. 